Welcome back, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to transfer data from an old phone to your new Samsung Galaxy A25 5G. So on my left, I have the Samsung Galaxy A15, and on my right, I have the Galaxy A25 5G. So the first step is to choose the language of the device. So tap on this drop-down arrow, and then select the language you wish your device to be using currently. Once you've selected one, select OK, and then tap on Start. From here, you need to agree to the end user license agreement and the privacy policy, then you can continue. And you'll be brought to this page labeled Easy Setup with another device. And you'll have two options, Galaxy or Android, and iPhone or iPad. So select Galaxy or Android device then you'll be presented with a QR code. Then on your old phone, select setup. And as you can see, mine has been detected. And once you've selected setup, then use your old phone to scan the QR code on your new phone. So hover the camera over the QR code. And now you'll be brought to this page, continue setup with your new device and ensure that both phones are close to each other until the setup is complete. And on your new device, it will be connecting to the Wi-Fi and getting your device ready. So just wait patiently. Then you'll be prompted to use the screen lock type on your old phone. So use your pin, password, or pattern. And then it will continue with the setup process. Then from here, you'll have the choice to copy data from your Android device. So you can choose the option to not copy, or you can tap on next to continue with this. And then you'll be told, get started with smart search. So scroll through the information and tap on next. And then you'll need smart switch to use these permissions, such as microphone, calendar, call logs, and all of that. And if you're okay with that, tap on allow. Then, and so now, it will give you two options in how you can transfer data. You can transfer using wireless or cable. So select an option. Let me choose wireless because they're connected to the same Sorry, uh, so you'll have to disconnect from Wi-Fi so that you can transfer quickly. So tap on disconnect to start the process. And now it will be connecting to your old phone. So as you can see, the process is ongoing. Data is being transferred, accept, and just wait for the process to finish. So it may take a while, depending on how much data you have on your old phone. So just wait patiently for the process to finish. You may be prompted to connect both devices to the same Wi-Fi network. So ensure both of them are connected to the same one. And so as you can see, data is being transferred. So this is how much has been transferred from this old phone. And then you can choose to transfer everything, just call logs, or you can customize what data you're moving from your old phone. So choose the one that works for you, then tap on next. And then you can also choose to transfer your secure folder if you wish. And if you do wish to transfer your secure folder, then you'll be prompted on your old phone to enter in your current screen lock type, or you can just choose to skip that. And then you can also back up your messaging app data by tapping on next. And just wait for the transfer to continue. So you'll also be told that once the setup is done, you can check the status of the transfer in your notifications bar. So 
Just wait for your device to continue loading. Then you'll probably notice any accounts that were on your old phone have now been moved to your new A25. So, for example, the Google services will use the, any Google account that was on your previous phone to sign in and keep basic backups and anything similar. Use location, allow scanning, and all of those features. So if you're happy with how they are, tap on accept to continue. And then you can choose to set up your Google Assistant now, or you can scroll down and then select skip, and then confirm your choice. So now just wait for the setup to finish. And as you can see on my old phone, the transfer is still going on. So I'll be able to check the status of that when I check my notifications panel once my phone is set up. Then you'll be prompted to add recommended apps to your device. And then you'll be also be told that apps will be downloaded when you're connected to Wi-Fi. So ensure you have a stable Wi-Fi connection so that these apps can be downloaded. Then tap on Next. Then you can use your Samsung account to log in right now. Or you can choose to add it in later, so it's up to you. So let me choose Forget Password or Don't Have an Account. And then Set Up Later in Settings. Then You'll be told the usefulness of a Samsung account. If you wish to sign in, you can sign in or you can skip and do that later. And then you can customize your Samsung services by enabling or disabling them to your liking. And once you've done both of them, tap on agree to continue. Then you can finish the setup process. And you may be brought to this page that will tell you discover and install great apps. You can choose to continue or you can skip and do that later and then confirm your choice. And now your phone has been set up with the data from your old Samsung Galaxy. So any games that I had on my previous phone, for example here, I had two games that are going to be downloaded onto my device with all of its data, such as game progress. And you can check the status of the transfer by swiping down for the notifications panel. And you should see this option transferring. And it will also have how many minutes left under the percentage that's been done. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and we'll get back to you.